children welcome once again to this english class so today we we'll do the third part of the rat trap in the previous class we saw that when the peddler he had his bath his beard was stuck on means he was clean shaved his hair was cut and he was dressed up in the iron man's clothes and then iron man when he saw him then he realized that he was mistaken and this was someone else previously he thought him to be his acquaintance but now he understood that he is not the person he was thinking of and so he shouted at him and he told him that i'll call the sheriff means i'll call the police man he'll lock you up he'll put you in the prison and then everything will be okay so this uh, peddler he got gets angry and he bangs the table and he says that yes i'll be there in the jail i'll be put in the prison by the police man but you listen to one thing that same thing will happen to you one day you will also be caught in a bait and then you will uh, get trapped and then you will be Uh, you will come to know what will happen to you so after that we'll read what happens so it is from page number 40 to page number 42 and master began laughing so when he said so the iron master started laughing at him that was not so bad he said my good fellow and he spoke to him and he said to him whatever you are saying is true it is not bad perhaps you should let the sheriff alone on christmas eve so he said it's christmas eve so let it be let it go but now get out of here as fast as fast as you can so i'm not going to call the police because it is christmas eve so better you yourself go away from here as early as possible but just as the man was opening the door so this peddler he went to the door he was opening the door that time the daughter means edla she ran and she said i think he ought to stay with us today so she said to her father i think he should stay with us i don't want him to go because she wanted him to stay back and then she closed the door and he she didn't let him go out of the house what in the world are you doing so the father got angry and he shouted at her he what are you doing let him go away from here the daughter stood there quite embarrassed and hardly knew what to answer and now when the father shouted at her she was not able to say what she wanted to say that morning she had felt so happy when she thought how home like the christmas eve she was going to make things for the poor hungry wretch and that morning only she was thinking that she will make this uh, christmas a very good christmas for the person the poor fellow for the peddler because he moves around selling rat trap he is a poor man so she wanted to make this christmas a good event for him she could not get away from the idea all at once and that was why she was interceded for the vagabond and she did not want her father to send her send him away so she wanted him to be there she wanted to make christmas enjoyable for the person i'm thinking of the stranger here said the young girl and then she spoke to her father ki i was thinking to make this christmas good for the stranger and he walks and walks the whole year long and she says to her father every time he is walking 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 all the time and uh, selling the rat trap from house to house and you know when the people open the door they just make faces they send them off they don't listen to them they don't treat them nicely they chase them away and then always he is afraid of being arrested and cross examined and he is in the condition of uh, police may caught catch him and ask him various questions and all 
I should like to have him enjoy a day of peace with us here, just one in the whole year. So today I want him to be with us and enjoy this Christmas with us at least for one day. In the whole year, for one day he should have peaceful day and enjoyable day with us. The Iron Master mumbled something in his beard and start, uh, this Iron Man he started grumbling. He spoke something that could not be heard. He could not bring himself to oppose her. And then he did not try to oppose his daughter. It was all a mistake of course, she continued. Then she said, yes, it was a mistake. But how can we chase him, chase him away? How can we send him away from here? When we only pursued him, we only told him to come to our house and spend the Christmas with us. You do preach worse than a parson, said the Iron Master. So he said to his daughter that you preach worse than a parson. The pastor, pastor who teach, preaches in the church, you preach worse than him. I only hope you won't have to regret this. And then he said, Ki hopefully you won't feel sorry for making him stay back in the house. The young girl took the stranger by the hand and led him to the table. And then she caught hold of the stranger's hand and made him sit on the chair. Now sit down and eat. For she could see that her father had given in. And now she saw that her father was agreeing with her to let him stay over there to enjoy the Christmas. So she said to the stranger, you sit and eat. The man with rat traps said not a word and this peddler, he did not say anything. He only sat down and helped himself to the food. He sat on the table and he started eating. Time after time, he looked at the young girl who had interceded for him. Why had she done it? What could the crazy idea be? And while he was eating, he looked at Edla many times and he was thinking. The thought what was coming to her mind that why on this earth, this woman, this girl, she's, she has taken favor for me and she argued with the father to let me stay back for the Christmas. After that Christmas Eve at Ramshaw's passed just as it always had. So now, now the Christmas Eve passed as every year they used to celebrate. The stranger did not cause any trouble because he did not did, did nothing but sleeping. And the stranger was not a problem for them because the whole time he was sleeping. The whole forenoon he lay on the sofa in one of the guest rooms and slept in one stretch. And in the guest room, he was lying down on the sofa and he was sleeping. At uh, noon, they woke him up so that he could have his share of good Christmas fare. But after that, he slept again. In the afternoon, they told him to get up. Then he got up, he had his meals again, he had his good filling. And then again, he went to sleep. It seemed as though for many years he had not been able to sleep as quietly and safely as here in that ram's room. And it seemed as if for the first time he was having a good sleep and a quiet and safe sleep in this place. In the evening when the Christmas tree was lighted, they woke him up again. So in the evening time when the Christmas tree was lighted, the Christmas celebration was there, Christmas tree celebration was there. Again, he was woken and he stood on for a while in the drawing room, blinking as though the candlelight hurt him. And when he was standing in the drawing room in front of the Christmas tree, his eyes were blinking, it means the, eye, the lights were hurting his eyes. But after that he disappeared again and then again he went off. Two hours later he was aroused once more and again they woke him up after two hours. He then had to go down into the dining room and eat the Christmas fish and porridge. So then after that he had to go to the dining room to have his dinner 
and for dinner they had Christmas fish and porridge. As soon as they got up from the table, he went around to each one present and said thank you and good night. And then when he finished his food, he went to each one, he shook hands with them, said thank you and good night. But when he came to the young girl, she gave him to understand that it was her father's intention that the suit which he, he wore was to be a Christmas present. He did not have to return it. And if he wanted to spend next Christmas Eve in a place where he could rest in peace and be sure that no evil would befall him, he would be welcomed back again. And then when he went to wish the girl, Edla, Edla told him that the dress he was wearing is the Christmas gift from her father to him and he need not return it, he should keep it and whenever he wants to come and enjoy the Christmas means next year if he wants to enjoy the Christmas with them he is very much uh, welcome over there he can come back and enjoy the Christmas Eve the man with the rat traps did not answer but the man he did not say anything to her he only stared at the young girl in boundless amazement he was very much astonished he was very much surprised he was looking at her continuously, but he did not say anything. The next morning, the ironmaster and his daughter got up in good season to go to early Christmas service. So next day was the church, and both the ironmaster and his daughter, they got up, they got ready, and they went to church. The guest was still asleep and they did not disturb him. And the peddler, he was still sleeping. They did not try to disturb him. They let him sleep. When at 10 o'clock, they drove back from the church, the young girl sat and hung her head even more dejectedly and than usual. And when at 10 o'clock they were returning from the church, the girl, she was putting her head down, she was feeling ashamed because in the church something happened and that was very shameful. The pastor in the church, he told that the crofter, he was stolen by somebody and he told him everything. Means he, in the preaching he said everything and now this girl understood, the father also understood that he was the same man, the peddler was the same man who had stolen the crofter. At church he had learned that one of the old crofters of the ironwork had been robbed by a man who went around selling rat traps. So it was told that a man who was selling rat traps, he had stolen the old crofter. Yes, that was a fine fellow you let into the house. So father said to him, to her, Yes, that is the fellow whom you gave shelter in home. I only wonder how many silver spoons are left in the covers by this time. And he was saying that when we reach home, I think most of the silver spoons that are in the cupboard, they must have been gone. Means the poor fellow must have taken away and went off. The wagon had hardly stopped at the front step. When the ironmaster asked the valet, whether the stranger was still there and when the carriage stopped in front of the house the father, the ironmaster asked the guard over there that the stranger was still there he added that he had heard at church that the man was a thief and he told the guard that the man was a thief the valet answered that the fellow had gone and that he had not taken anything with him at all. And he told the master that uh, the man, he has gone, but he did not take anything with him, but he had left a little package, which Miss Wilminson was to be kind enough to accept as a Christmas present. And from his side, he has left a package for uh, Edla, for Madam, and he said ki it would be kind enough for her to accept it. It was a Christmas present from his side. The young girl opened the package, which was so badly done up 
that the contents came into view at once. And then the girl opened it and she saw and she gave a little cry of joy. She was very much happy. She found a small rat trap and in it lay three ring, wrinkled ten rana notes. And inside the rat traps there were three wrinkled ten rana's that he had stolen from the crofter's house. But that was not all. In the rat trap lay also a letter written in large jacked characters and with the notes there was a small letter also in that it was written honored and noble miss since you have been so nice to me all day long as if i was a captain i want to be nice to you and he said that you have been nice to me you thought me to be a captain and for that reason you were nice to me and in return as if I was not a, I was a real captain for I do not want you to be embarrassed at this Christmas season by a thief. So I am also like a real captain. I don't want to embarrass you like a thief but as a captain I want to give you give back the money to the old man. So I want you to do one thing for me to give this money to the old man who lives on the roadside, who has the money pouch hanging on the window frame as a bait for poor wanderers. And that fellow, he has got a leather bag, he puts the money and he keeps it on the, he hangs it on the window and it is like a bait for the poor people. The rat trap is a Christmas present from a rat who would have been caught in this world trap if he had not been raised to captain. And he said that this rat trap is a small present from me. Means he called himself a rat and he said it is a gift from me. And if he was not looked at like a captain, he would have been caught in the trap. Because in that way he got power to clear himself and as a captain you identified me as a captain so as a captain i want to clear myself i got power to clear myself and that's why i want you to return this money to that person and you keep this rat trap as a present from me written with great uh, with friendship and high regard captain von stanley and then what Iron Master had recognized him as Captain Von Stanley, so he wrote his name like that below and then he left the house. So this way we can say that the rat trap seller, his, uh, he changed, his life changed over there because Edla was very much sympathetic with him, she had faith in him. And she wanted him to enjoy the Christmas Eve with them, the Christmas day with them, with them. And that's why his life was changed and he uh, apologized and he returned the money to the old crofter. So that's the end of the lesson. And most probably within two or three days I'll be giving you the notes. So good day children, goodbye.